Hello, my dear students. In the last class, we have already discussed about non-covalent interaction. Today, we are going to discuss about molecular recognition. We know about different type of non-covalent bonding, such as hydrogen bonding, metal coordination, hydrophobic forces, Van der Waals forces, pi pi interactions, halogen bonding, or resonant interaction effects. Then what do you mean by molecular recognition? It refers to the specific interaction between two or more molecules through non-covalent bonding. In addition to these direct interactions, solvent can play a dominant indirect role in driving molecular recognition in solution. The host guest involved in molecular recognition exhibit molecular complementarity. Molecular recognition plays an important role in biological systems. It is observed in between receptor ligand, antigen antibody, DNA protein, sugar, lectin, RNA ribosomes, etc. That is, the interaction between an antigen and antibody is an example for molecular recognition. Similarly, interaction between DNA and protein is an example for molecular recognition. Moreover, the interaction between sugar and lectin is an another example for molecular recognition. We know about the antibiotic vancomycin. Vancomycin selectively binds with the peptide with the terminal D-alanyl D-alanine in bacterial cells through five hydrogen bonds. Vancomycin is lethal to the bacteria since once it has bound to these particular peptides, they are unable to be used to construct the bacteria's cell wall. This is an important example for molecular recognition. The figure shows an example for molecular recognition. Here, the crystal structure of a short peptide L lysine D alanyl D alanine, that is bacterial cell wall precursor, bound to the antibiotic vancomycin through hydrogen bonds. We know a ribosome is a biological machine that utilizes protein dynamics on nanoscales to translate RNA into proteins. In this figure, ribosome is in green color and yellow. The tRNAs are dark blue and other proteins involved are light blue. The produced peptide is released into the endoplasmic reticulum. Molecular recognition can be subdivided into static molecular recognition and a dynamic molecular recognition. Firstly, we can discuss about static molecular recognition. It is just like an interaction between a key and a keyhole. That is, it is a one is to one type complexation reaction between a host molecule and a guest molecule to form a host guest complex. Here, it is necessary to make recognition sites that are specific for guest molecules. Next, we can discuss about dynamic molecular recognition. Here, the binding of the first guest to the first binding site of a host affects the association constant of a second guest with a second binding site, leading to cooperativity of binding. In the case of positive allosteric systems, the binding of the first guest increases the association constant of the second guest. While for negative allosteric systems, the binding of the first guest decreases the association constant with the second. The dynamic nature of this type of molecular recognition is particularly important since it provides a mechanism to regulate binding in biological systems. Dynamic molecular recognition may enhance the ability to discriminate between several competing targets via the conformational proofreading mechanism. Dynamic molecular recognition is also being studied for applications in highly functional chemical sensors and molecular devices. Next, we can discuss about host guest chemistry. Host guest chemistry is a branch of supramolecular chemistry in which host molecule forms a chemical compound with a guest molecule or ion. The two components of the compound are held together by non-covalent forces, most commonly by hydrogen bonding. Binding between host and guest is usually highly specific to the two moieties concerned. The formation of these complexes is central to the subject of molecular recognition. There is an equilibrium between the unbound state in which host and guest are separate from each other and the bound state in which there is a structurally defined host-guest complex. 
that is host plus guest gives an host guest complex the host component can be considered the larger molecule and it encompasses the smaller guest molecule in biological system the analogous terms of host and guest are commonly referred to as enzyme and substrate today we have discussed about molecular recognition and host guest chemistry it has a major role in biological systems for example receptor ligand antigen antibody sugar lectin etc Thank you.